Yeah, well, I do mine differently. Like, you don't have to. You can try, You can do it if you like. Um, like yeah, and I, I'm I'm set to change my my audio tracks uh, soon. The ones I've been using and been using for a couple of years, and I just want to update them and change them a bit, put more in. Um, but like the things that I'm doing with you, like um, things like this, is is new different things that I'm applying. But the resonant tuning, it, maybe you all don't know, but obviously it's one of your favourites. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's why I bought it. Yeah. Because I thought, oh, I used to love that. Yeah. So in the Gateway Experience, so the Gateway Voyage, which Robert Monroe created, he created six albums, and then he passed away. So his his daughter, um, I can't remember her name, but she uh, did the seventh album, and so it's a completely different voice and energy. But I prefer Robert Monroe's voice. Is, is he on the Resident Tuning track, or is it just a? There is someone talking about, you see, I, I, as I was saying, I got mine out of a magazine, I didn't know there were an institute or a... Yeah, that's probably Robert Monroe then, yeah, if it's a guy's Robert voice, Monroe. it's most likely him. He's got a lovely... Deep, deep voice. Yeah, soothing, yeah, wise, <laughs> yeah, really nice. A lot of people love, love his voice and it's hard to recreate because it's, it's him, it's his energy behind it. So the resonant tuning is... It, they, don't teach, they don't do much breath work in the Monroe Institute, the Hemi-Sync, they just let you just go into the frequencies straight away. But for me, I find that the, the breath work is important. Again, if you find it's too much, too long, if you're getting tension somewhere, please just relax and just, just let, you know, wait for other things to happen. Um, but the breath work I find is to build up a lot of energy. It's almost like you're, you're a battery and you're getting charged. You know, imagine that. And uh, so when you go to the polarization technique, you're not using the breath as we said, you know, yesterday, you're not going, <sighs> You know, just, you're just using the energy. But the resonant tuning is what they use where you're having partially closed lips and you're humming. So after the bit of breath work, for example, you're just going So if you do this now, it doesn't, doesn't matter what we sound like, just, you know, we're all doing this. But just uh, hum through partially closed lips like you're vibrating your lips. If you do that, you can feel yourself vibrating a little bit, yeah? So like hum, like, like, like a bee sound almost. But you can try this after you've done the breath work, perhaps if you want to wait a bit and then do the breath. So then after a few minutes, just as long as you can. And what you find is that it's encouraging your energy body to vibrate more. And this is what you want to achieve is the vibrational state in a sense doesn't always happen, but you'll get the sensation or trick in your body that, or your energy body that you're going into more vibrations, which is what you want to, to get. Um, it's very powerful. Again, there's so many different techniques you can apply. Um, one I like to do in different techniques, as I said, I used to meditate down the end of the retreat here of my bedroom, we used to be in the house. I used to come here when we we're doing building work, because this was always looking like this. I used to meditate here. And I had the duality of both being back in my room over there as well as being here. It was just strange. I was like, I still feel over there because my energy was over there. You're tricking yourself. And the, the key is tricking yourself all the time to be doing things. So you're tricking your body to completely fall asleep. Maybe in circles that you've seen people almost looking like they're falling off the chair, right? But they never fall off. <laughs> no, no, no. They're just getting so deep that they're just really, really relaxed. And maybe their arm is down here. And my teacher, she used to say to me, you just got so deep, I thought you were going to fall off the chair. And, but I never did. Um, so it's just tricking your body to be completely relaxed in a session. And another reminder, what I was trying to tell you earlier, is that um, you find it better to sleep on your side or relax. If you find that better for the sessions, please do so. If you're fine with the earbuds, you don't have to be in the position that I tell you. That's just how I feel comfortable. But... I typically see people, especially in group groups, when I see people together, you know, you all start off, you know, like, like this, and then when people get tired, they end up just going into a ball and rolling over and getting deeper. So really be relaxed in the best way you can, okay? I'm not forcing you to be in a certain position. I'm just guiding you to be in a position that, you know, you don't have any... Oh, I try the floor, actually. Yeah, because yeah, of your arms, a bit, right? A bit stuck there, and my arms are yeah, a, a nuisance. Yeah, sure. Um, so I might need a crane to get me up. <laughs> we'll help you. <laughs> so you can always bring up cushions from here and take them down, support you underneath. It, again, always little things that people don't tell you, like meditation is like the back of your heels 
going into the floor, the hard floor, you think, oh, it's just for your back, but then after a while, it's not pressure, but it's just a bit of wake, and sometimes you get a bit of, yeah. And then people with longer hair, obviously, sometimes if you go that up, it's like, sometimes you find that it's twisted, and it's like, you just have all these little things that um, can sometimes be a distraction. So it's really just being loose, relaxed. And you've probably seen people like being crazy positions, sleeping, maybe babies or children that you've looked after, and they're like, how are they, how are they sleeping like that? They're just getting very relaxed. But the, again, the key is keeping your mind awake and your body asleep. And you've probably done this throughout your life, maybe when you're younger, and you've heard yourself snoring or breathing heavily, and you think, who's that in the room snoring? But it was you. You know, you got so deep that you are... Uh, you can all do this, it happens to everybody. Your, your mind is completely awake, that your body is asleep, and that's, that's the key. And then, then that's when the phenomena starts to take place. You're being present, yeah. Well, that's okay then, because I know, I know oh, I'm okay. snoring. Yeah, that's good. Well, if that's good, that's yeah. okay then, I'll tell my husband that then. <laughs> <laughs> it's not him, it's you. Yeah, I'm hoping that you guys will get uh, more familiar with, with what's going to take place. If this is new to you, or perhaps you've had these experiences before. Another experience that used to happen to me when I was younger a lot, I, could, I can only explain it as the canoe effect, where I feel like I'm, I'm in bed, but then suddenly I feel like I've been toppled over, and I've like, I fell out, fallen out of the canoe, do you know what I mean? But there is no canoe, I basically come out of my body, and I'm in sleep, in sleep I'm present, and suddenly I'm aware that I'm floating, and suddenly, ah, oh, I'm landed back in my body or something. Maybe a trip of curbs. Trip of curbs. That's something, oh God. Yeah. Curb, yeah. Yeah, so maybe you've had this experience as well where you've been conscious, you feel like you've been falling or a sensation you are falling. But the thing is, we don't understand why we're falling. You know, it's that survival instinct that gets in us like, oh, we have to be in control. And really it's about letting go. Um, it can take a, a long time to master, it really can, depending on your mindset and the way you see things. Um, yeah, any questions so far about the sessions? Anything difficult, uh, uncomfortable? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> if you feel tired, that's good. I mean, if you fall asleep in the next session, not in here when we go and do one in, in your rooms, it's fine. I, I want you to fall asleep, but I want you to keep your mind awake. And there'll probably be times throughout this weekend where you will fall asleep, then that's fine. You know, you've come here to relax as well, get some rest, I'm sure, but also have an experience. If you don't get anything, don't worry, because people sometimes have that. They don't sometimes get anything. It's not until they get home. They're like, I had a number of experiences, but I didn't have any there. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes people have a lot here, and then they go home, they don't have so much. It's the energy of this place as well. Um, but yeah, just everyone's different. So don't, again, don't beat yourself up in your mind, like, ah, oh, let's not get anything. Just keep trying, but letting go, yeah?